one of your greatest battles always is to control the outcomes or to force the outcomes. So in the middle of my meltdown, uh, my father-in-law is, is my friend, advisor, uh, mentor, several other things. And um, so I, I went to see him. And I, I'd already been in the meltdown for a couple of, couple of uh, you know, I don't know, a year or two. And I, and I laid it out for him and uh, showed him every little detail of what I was going through. Uh, frequently having to stop to wipe tears away. It was very, very painful and emotional. And after about an hour, he said uh, two things. He said, uh, first thing he said, well, Pat, you're going to be okay. And I remember, wow, yippee, that's great news. I mean, that's exactly what I was over there. That's awesome. I can't believe it. He, he's been through stuff like this before, and he says, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. And then he said, but. I think it's going to take about two more years. And I'm thinking, oh, man, why'd you have to go and say that for? <laughs> oh, two years? I, can't, I don't know if I can make it two more years. Well, here, here's the thing. It, it, it's going to take you a couple more years, or whether it's three years or five years. Uh, you, we don't get into the problems easily, quickly, right? The, the result of many little decisions made over a long period of time. And in order to, to correct and heal these things, it's going to take some time. Some things have to, have, have to work. So you have the choice of either letting it happen and inquiring of the Lord, communicating, absorbing the blow, not withdraw all these things, or trying to, to make it happen. This is, in fact, this is one of the big ideas in, in, in all of Christian living, is this difference between letting it happen versus making it happen. So, what are we going to do? We're going to make it, we're going to make it happen, right? <laughs> we're going to let it happen, right? We're going to let it happen.